Huh? Again? Hey, where's Arval? It's not like you to hide, buddy. Also, it feels like there's something different about this place. Well, this is new. Do you need something? How strange to find our roles reversed. Wait, you didn't bring me here? I most certainly did not. I can only assume you came here of your own accord. Perhaps our bond as partners in destiny is finally coming to fruition. Mm, sure, whatever you say. But if you don't need anything, I'm out of here. Of course, of course. But how do you intend to leave this place exactly? You've never come here on your own before, not in all the years we've been together. So this is somewhat uncharted territory for me. But since I wasn't the one to bring you here, I fear I lack the ability to let you leave. You're kidding, right? I'm most certainly not. Oh, for the love of... Well then, since you seem to be stuck here for now, how do you intend to pass the time? I don't know. Swing a sword around? Might as well improve myself while I'm here. Hmm. And where exactly do you intend to procure said sword? My mind isn't some magical dream world where you can simply manifest whatever you like. Oh, right. Guess I'll just take a nap then. A fitting choice, yes. Though I imagine you'll have some very interesting dreams in the process. Interesting how? Nemesis has retreated, Lord Epimenides. We would be wise to do the same. Go. I will hold the enemy at bay. Worthless beast though he may be, Nemesis is our ally for now. We cannot abandon him. His is a useful sort of madness. We should be certain to wring all we can from him before we discard him. An intriguing proposal, yes. Now go. I will protect you all in my own way. I should be off. The time has come to destroy the wretches who would threaten this world. My immediate enemy is the Imperial Force. I will take the stronghold to impede their advance. They don't sit well with me. their worst. Huh? 
clearly hope to achieve victory through sheer numbers alone. Ah, but we were the same ones. Side. We will lay all her enemies low. Those are the fools who are granted power by the abomination. But I should deal with the surrounding soldiers first. You don't feel powerful. to have a superlative mage on the side. And why would such a person be aiding Nemesis? This is your end. Saros is our most bitter enemy, and I cannot suffer her to live. Thing they were truly fighting for. How I do I pity them. Powerful. 
Abomination.
I leave the rest in your hands, Lady Serenx. You are not but a false prophet, Serenx, and I will end you here and now. Vile, wicked mage! In the name of the goddess, I will slay you where you stand. My word! Continent for good. I will judge you. Preparation is key. I feel powerful. Behold. This is your end. Pursuit must end here. All units retreat. A draw then, and time for all to fall back and lick their wounds. We must find a way to secure greater military strength.
Just now. Was that... you? Not me, no. But someone close. That dream depicted the distant past, and the one who you mistook for me was fighting for something. The past? Wait, so Saros, Sethleen, Keyhole? They were... All saints who lived more than a thousand years ago, yes. You learned about them, remember? They are from an age long before either of us were even a glimmer in the goddess's eye. And this man who resembled me, who could he be? Perhaps he holds a clue as to the origin of my power. And my true nature. Well, who can say? We're talking about someone who lived over a thousand years ago. It's not like we can just ask them. Is there a way to turn back time and revisit the past? Don't be silly. And even if a being existed with such power, it would be far beyond our feeble understanding. Yeah, I guess you're right. Reality often has a way of exceeding our wildest imaginings. <laughs> but there I go, musing again. Still, your coming here and having the same dream as me feels important. We are partners in destiny, after all. I suppose. But I still have no idea how I actually ended up here. Maybe I'll just try going back to sleep.